guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about a graphic novel called Sheets and this was written by uh, Brenda Thumler and yeah I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I really enjoyed this graphic novel, I got it for Christmas, um, it's been on my Amazon wish list for quite some time and yeah I thought I would give it a go. I've been trying to get back into reading graphic novels and I thought I would start with this one. It seemed like it was going to be quite light-hearted and easy read but also um, you know with the ghost theme so a bit paranormal so I thought that would be interesting and it really was. First off I have to say when I got this and I um, unwrapped it I was really surprised by how much I loved the art style in this because on Amazon I could only see the front cover and then obviously the premise sounded good so that's why I got it but then when I opened it up I really really love the um, art style in this it's just really pleasing to the eye um, it has a lovely colour palette it's kind of in like these pastel um, yeah like pastel kind of images and they're just done really really nicely I really really like the style of this art um, and yeah so I'm going to show you a few more images so basically this story is about a young girl who is struggling in life she's lost her mother and um, she's kind of feeling the weight of the world on her shoulders she is trying to run the laundrette which was originally her mother's um, business and it was, you know, they live um, they live above it. Their family home is above this laundrette and she's just trying to get through school and trying to get um, through running this laundrette um, kind of to keep the memory alive of her mum and she just, yeah, she's trying to hold her family together. Um, she has a younger brother and the father. The father has become slightly distant since the death of the mother and she's just struggling to cope a little bit and it's kind of just about the stresses of her daily life trying to run this laundrette. And then <laughs> the second part is this young boy, he's a ghost, <laughs> um, this young boy who died and again he's trying to find his way in the ghost world and he kind of gets a bit lost and by chance they kind of meet up and it's about what happens between them and their friendship and everything and how they help each other out and it's just a really sweet story i can see this story being for all ages really i see children really enjoying this and adults really enjoying this i really enjoyed it it's a very nice story and it seems to be quite popular because this isn't the only one but this is a standalone but it's kind of a series i've seen other ones come out by this author um, surrounding this little ghost boy which I'm definitely going to pick up because I really really enjoyed this. It had kind of sweet messages around family and friendship and um, coping with grief actually. It was quite a good book or quite a good graphic novel in coping with um, death and the look people you know how people see it differently and how people deal with grief differently. Um, because obviously she, she's dealing with grief differently to how her father is dealing with it. He's not coping very well. Um, but yeah, overall, just a big thumbs up for me. I really, really enjoyed it. I've been wanting to read it for a long time and I'm glad I picked it up. Definitely going to pick up more of the books by this, or more graphic novels by this um, by this writer. So it says here for Marjorie, being 13 years old isn't quite the same as it is for everybody else responsibility for running her family's laundromat while trying to survive middle school Marjorie uh, Marjorie's daily struggles include um, pernickety customers snippety classmates agonizing swim lessons and laundry always always laundry then you have Wayland who's the ghost boy is a bit different too Wayland is a ghost his daily struggles include dead youth group <laughs> dead youth support group and unavoidable stains but when he escapes from the land of the ghosts and bumbles into Marjorie's, Marjorie's laundromat the perfect ghost playground he admits at fun oh he attempts at fun and friendship begin to harm the family business and um yeah it's just yeah like I said it's quite a sweet story I really enjoyed it 
and I'm trying to get back into reading my graphic novels. I have a few series I want to continue. So if anyone sees this and has some recommendations for me, then leave them in the comments down below. If you've read this and you found other things in this style that you think I would like, then please leave them down below because I really, really liked this. Um, yeah, it was the book I actually ended up reading over the Christmas period, over Boxing Day. And yeah, I really, really loved it and I highly, highly recommend it. I really love this art style. It just really is beautiful to read. Um, it's just so pretty. It's like, not all of it's pastels. There are some little, this is like a little story time bit in, within the story. A story within a story. Um, which I like. But yeah, I just thought it was relatable and it was a really sweet little graphic novel. So that's everything I have to say about Sheets. If you've been interested in picking this one up, then definitely do so. Um, I think um, you won't be disappointed. I definitely wasn't. That's pretty much all I have to say. So yeah, thank you for watching and until next time, bye guys.